guys, we were planning to head out to the middle grounds today. As you can see, the weatherman was way off on the conditions. It's supposed to be flat. It's easily two to threes. So we were just slow trucking out there. We decided to make a move down south. And what I mean by south is in the uh, 120 foot range, probably out of Clearwater St. Pete area is about where we're at right now. Um, me and my buddy T, Will's driving right now, and we're just kind of trying to put a box together. As many dives as we can kind of get in the day. And uh, this spot here, like I said, is about 120 foot deep. Water temp's about 84, 85 degrees. Never dove this spot before. So let's check out and see what's going on. Visibility has been pretty good today up top. Some areas toward the bottom, it gets a little murky, um, but overall not terrible. Start to come into the spot here. You can see there's one lonely red snapper out there in the distance. And uh, I got my eye on him. Nice spot, tons of bait. There's a bunch of red grouper around. Really cool spot to see for the first time. Go to take a shot on him, get a good shot, really uh, messes him up. You could see the flopper was just not all the way through and Red Snapper will fight to the death. He ends up getting off, but he's pretty messed up. I decide to see if I can try and grab him and I go to try to grab him and he just kind of flicks away. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna re just reload and shoot him again. And then I hear my uh, buddy T who rolled in, he was on top of me and I look over and he plugs him. So uh, we got him. So as long as one of us got him, that, uh, that's all that matters. But cool little area so far, just checking out. This looks like a uh, red grouper bottom, live bottom with a bunch of like real hard ledge areas or holes, so to speak, that these fish like to just bounce from one to the next to the next. Bunch of bait on it. Um, there's no, no reason why these fish wouldn't be here right now, so. Pretty neat little spot. I did see a red grouper on the drop there. I saw him shoot up into one of these holes that I was checking out here. Everything's kind of dusted up at this time, so it's a little harder to see, but I kind of peek in here to see where he's at, and I guess he had took off while I was fighting that red snapper, but um, there's definitely some, definitely a few around. Now I'm gonna go scan the area. This is a pretty large area. Like I said, there's mangroves here too, but they're very, they're being very spookish. They're not really coming in to check you out at all. They're keeping their distance. They don't want nothing to do with us here at this spot. See another red grouper go shoot over in that hole over there. I head over to check him out, but uh, realize he's a little bit on the borderline side, so I'm just gonna let him be. Another red snapper out there in the distance. There wasn't many on this spot. I mean, usually when you find a red snapper spot, they're, I think they're a schooling fish and you see a lot, but I mean, there's maybe three on this spot. And if you see those white 
patches of sand right there. I've heard or seen in the past that if you're on a red grouper spot, they'll actually pick up the sand in their mouths and they'll shoot it out somewhere out somewhere else while they while they're building their home. So I think all those little piles of sand are just from all the red grouper here moving it out of the way and, you know, making their home. Trying to get a lock on this mangrove here, but they're just not wanting to come in and check check you out at all. trigger fish right there I kind of just following him maybe he'll lead me somewhere a bigger area where more mangroves are maybe he'll find me some more holes I don't know I see a nice red grouper right there and I'm just slowly kind of chasing after him I know he's gonna go right to a hole and just hang out so and that's exactly what he does he stops gets an eye on me I take a shot and get him and then he just dive bombs into his hole as hard as he can and forces me to uh, kind of rip him out here This video, guys, was filmed on June 8th, which was a Saturday. So I know a lot of people ask, like, is this an older video? Is this a newer video? No, this was filmed on June 8th. I see a lot of guys getting red grouper in the 120 area right now out of the Clearwater area. So if that might help anybody out, whether you're spearing or rod and reeling and you're wanting to target red grouper, I would definitely check the 120-foot uh, stuff that you have.
kind of just scanning around here. Uh, I wish the visibility on the bottom was a little bit better. These cameras do make the visibility look better than what it actually is as well. Uh, but I probably would have been able to see a lot further and some more of these red grouper holes that may have been in the distance that I missed because of poor visibility. grouper hole he ends up seeing one he plugs one and I think there's a nice mangrove that was kind of yeah coming in and around him that I was trying to go after but I don't know these these fish were just so spooky the mangroves where they just would not they want nothing to do with us snapper there and a little uh, a few more mangroves right here just couldn't get the distance I wanted on this shot here with this guy and uh, but he ends up leading me to where that I just seen that red grouper so I'm like all right sweet and with red grouper right now he's 100% just gonna go right to a hole and try to rock up because that's what they do just every single time and that's exactly where he's taking me right to his hole and he's just gonna kind of sit there get a good shot on them I'm not sure I can't see the flopper 100% so I make sure that it's pinned up against something hard that way he's not gonna come off on the backside until I get a good hold of him cool dive nothing absolutely crazy but definitely a cool spot to have seen one of the uh, better red grouper areas that I've seen or dove in the past guys have any questions just leave them down in the comments and I will get back to them as soon as I can and I appreciate you guys for your time watching Some of you guys like to see the fish more too, so I'll kind of hold them out for you, check them out a little bit. It's a couple decent red grouper, nothing crazy. Cool little dive.
stole my f***ing red snapper. I shot him, fought him, he came off the shaft. I was getting ready to get him, you see it's all f***ed up. So you come in and just f***ing cap him. I'm like, you No, dude, it was like live bottom with a with a small ledge, really tiny. Like it wasn't even a ledge; it was like a bit, it was like a hole, and then it was just live bottom holes. I would mark this as red gripper shit. Uh, oh yeah.